internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm here online with a new friend. This is my first one this morning, and we got a couple more after this, but we've got a new guy on the line. Um, I forgot to ask, where are you located? I'm in Los Angeles. L.A., oh my God, you woke up early for us. <laughs> and what was, what was your name again? I forgot. It was my name's Larry. Larry. And Travisky, is it? Okay, <laughs> we'll have to have you spell it out. I'll put that in the in the the blogs and things I post out. <laughs> we'll we'll get it all happening. <laughs> so are you you how many kids you got? Yay. So you got a boy and a girl, or two, two daughters? Two daughters. Hey. Okay, super. That's that's what a lot of this is about, and that's what's going to happen at the very end of this interview. I ask the big why question, and that's what happens. We find out that people are helping people, which is part of the, our mission is to move the online chatter back into real life activity. So, you want to uh, share a little bit about what it is that occupies your life right now and keeps you uh, going, your your business and things that, things of that sort. Would you share what what that's about? in that order. 50% of the population do not take their medication as prescribed. And that cause contributes or exacerbates to $680 billion in additional medical expense. We decided to tackle that and we do it in a few different ways. The, the way we really do it is through what we call the timer cap. The timer cap is really just a simple pill bottle. Uh, it's a stopwatch and on a medicine bottle and you take the cap off and it stops the timer, you put it on, and the timer starts recounting. Hmm. Why is this important? Most of the time, patients have to decide to either manage their medications externally and keep it in the bottles they were prescribed in, or move it to one of those pill boxes and lose all valuable labeling information and safety information. And in the case of an emergency, the identification of a pill could mean the life or death of somebody in, in a situation. We believe medication should be managed in the, in the packages they were dispensed in, and this one allows you to know what's happening. Okay, this cool. one is really important because, first of all, we're in every CVS store. We're in every Rite Aid and the apothecary section. So um, if you're looking for a stocking stuffer for the Christmas holidays, if it's going up, then by all means, it's a great stocking stuffer. It's a gift of life. But too many people go through the did I or didn't I take my meds. Yeah. And... Um, we have the ability to handle it. Um, you know, it, underdosing and overdosing is just as bad. And these are perfect for when people are taking opioids. And I've been talking about, you know, every opioid should be dispensed with one of these types of caps. I can get into that sooner, but I know you might have some questions. Right? Well, Go ahead. first off, I'm just, uh, that's pretty cool. I like the idea because I've used those little boxes and I don't have a, I don't do any medication actually, but I was taking some, uh, some uh, supplements and they had the Monday through for this Sunday, Saturday kind of thingy on there. And you would almost forget if you didn't know what day it was. 
And if you're an elderly person, I can see how you would forget, especially if you got multiple prescriptions to take. And, uh, and when it's important that they take them on a daily basis, there's something like that that keeps them uh, in line to let you know if you did it or not. So I think that, that's a cool uh, piece of technology you got there. And it's simple, it looks like. Yeah, and it's what we uh, talk about. It's, it's what we call the duh factor. Like, how easy can I explain our business? And, you know, we're under the belief medication should be kept in the bottles they are dispensed in. Uh, you know, I go to my dad's house, and he's got that pill box. And I go, okay, Dad, what, what pill's what? And how do I know? Well, I stopped taking the green one because I, I didn't get back there. What did the green one do? I don't know. It was green. Okay, Dad, that's, that's you, you know, in case... You know, of an emergency and his elders, uh, you know, lose some cognitive ability, it becomes harder and harder to keep it uh, away from those bottles. And then the second thing is, is for opioids, you know, people who are on opioids, which is pain medication, right? So they're taking pain medication. And now we even find it in cannabis that when they take cannabis, they become cognitively impaired. Again, some strange, we're not going to go. Uh, I don't need everybody jumping down my throat that not every cannabis strain uh, creates cognitive impairment. But for the ones that do, that, um, you know, they're trying to remember the last time they took it. And our timer caps are one of the only ones uh, that can let them know the last time they took it. So they get on the road safe. I mean, in Colorado, when cannabis was legalized, we saw a doubling of traffic accidents and, uh, yeah, and traffic accident fatalities, I might say. And now they just applied it to California. So, you know, those are going to be people on our roads that I drive on and my kids drive on. And when you say what drives me, I want to make sure our roads are safe and that people become self-accountable by having these kinds of tools. This is called compliance packaging. So, you know, uh, you see it like in the um, uh, antibiotics where they put them in the Z-packs. Women have known it for years by uh, birth control where they have those little dials and they have the numbers so they know what to take. Mm -hmm. You don't have that when you take cannabis or opioids and you should know that it's been two, three or whatever hours it is that your impairment's no longer there before you jump on the roads with me, you and our families. And so, sure. you know, that's one of the reasons we uh, spend our time doing these things. So with the, the ICAP thing, um, the big question is how much is it? How much does it cost for a well, caps. the timer cap, we have two. We have the timer cap. These can be found at every CVS and Rite Aid store, and they're selling three of them for $10. We have them oh, with wow. the bottles and everything else um, uh, and free shipping on Amazon, and I believe it's nineteen ninety five for four of them. And uh, you get free shipping, and we include the bottles and, um, and some other uh, items. So it's a great deal either way, but um, and we have them for uh, stores that you can get if you – Go to the pharmacy at Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, or um, you know Costco and mail order. We have the different styles to fit those bottles because we really do want people keeping their medications in the bottles they were dispensed in. That's the safest, most accurate way people can take their medication. Totally makes well, sense. Not, and, and now we have a brand new one, which is called the iCap, which I think you mentioned, which is now Bluetooth enabled. And now when you open it, it alerts you to your cell phone that you've taken your meds. So it comes straight to my phone, like if my dad takes his medication, we know that. And then we wow. also do have it <laughs> in cool. the seven day pill box because we, we made the seven day pill box safer. So when you open this, the phone will alert you to what pills are in there, what they look like, what the side effects are. And this is coming out uh, in early 17. And so you're able to see and make even the standard pill box safer by letting people know what was in it and what the, the interactions are. So even on something like that, if your elderly parents are not taking their prescriptions on the right day and things, and you're vacationing in Cancun with your phone, you can see that, oh my God, he forgot to take his Wednesday thing. We got to give him a call. It, it alerts That's you and says, cool. hey, give, give mom or dad a call and give him a little kick in the uh, tush. Because uh, if you don't care about your family, let, let me tell you that the medical workers around the country who might be taking care of them care less. I mean, and if, I if suppose the family that, doesn't care about it. I know. suppose that can also be helpful for stuff that just happens to be in the medicine cabinet. And you get uh, teenagers that are trying to take stuff. You could kind of make sure that they're not, right? It's, yeah, they call that diversion. And absolutely, it's, it, it detects diversion in the household. So if you're gone for eight hours and you see... That cap's been opened at four. 
got to call Junior over and go, let's have a little sit down. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. So why don't you share with us how to get a hold of this information instead of going right to Amazon and searching for it? Why don't you let us know how to go direct to you and, and get that done? Well, you can always go to timercap.com, so uh, uh, T-I-M-E-R-C-A-P.com, and uh, you can order uh, right then and there. We are available at Amazon uh, if you type in TimerCap, and uh, we're also in a lot of local pharmacies if that's more convenient for people at every CVS and Rite Aid when you get your prescription. Just remember that, uh, you know, especially if you have pain meds, it should have this kind of cap, especially for household diversion, because... One of the things, you know, in our days, they just said, say no to drugs. Today, you know, when you, when they do that same course in schools, it's don't take your parents' uh, prescription medication, right? <laughs> that's that, that's what they're saying. They don't even bother saying don't take your don't say no to drugs because drugs to me was, you know, you know, some guy in a back alley that they always talked about, like hey, don't take candy from strangers, don't you know, don't talk to people, and now it's you know. The epidemic's more about going kids going into the uh, parents' pharmacy sure. cabinet, so it's it's a troubling, and, I, and I'm glad you mentioned it. Well, that's um, that's a very cool product. This, I love doing these interviews. I meet people from all over the place, and a lot of them are business coaches or wellness coaches and things of that sort. And now this is a whole new area of thing. I've seen some very neat technology, but this is uh, this is very cool. So here's my it, favorite it, and final question before we sign off and beam this up to the okay. internet. And that's the big why question. Why are you doing this and why aren't you like a grade school teacher or why aren't you like uh, camping or teaching Boy Scouts or being a surf instructor? Why are you doing this? Well, um, pretty much I try to do what I'm passionate about. I've had a few different businesses. Um, we used to have a company called 1-800-DENTIST. You might have seen the dental referral business. We sold that. And uh, we've had some hardware businesses, some computer businesses. You know, it's what am I focused in on and what... Um, th there was a, uh, the book, uh, good to great. Right. And, uh, Jim Collins talks about, you know, the three, uh, the, the three circles that come together, right? What are you world-class at? What runs your economic engine, you know, and what are you passionate about? When those three intersections meet, that's what you should be doing. When I was nine years old, I had to start giving my mom Demerol shots in her tush because she had nine major back surgeries and she was always in pain. My mom was addicted to prescription pain meds. So this subject is near and dear to my heart because she passed away at 60. Well, I'm five years away from that today. And, uh, you know, my mom didn't have the kind of life we live. Um, my, my kids and I talk all the time. My wife and I get to do um, travels and do what we want with our life. We live on a gorgeous property um, that, that we have. I mentor a lot at, with Cal State Northridge University. One of my courses I teach is Sex Cells, Dogs Bark, Babies Cry, Marketing Lessons You Need to Learn. And so I get to do a lot of mentoring to a lot of students. Um, I get to talk to people about something that really matters in their lives is um, going through this. I was on a phone call the other day with some hospice care, you know, who, um, are taking care of things and they, you know, they handle a lot, of, a lot of opioids and simple tools such as what we have with the timer caps and awareness tools, you know, we're making it in as expensive as possible so they can um, take care of it. We were talking to the VA about it because there's sometimes people go overcomplicated to solve simple solutions. And I believe it needs to be what we call the duh, like 1-800-DENTIST, you kind of knew what it does. Timer cap, you kind of know what it does. And how simple can you make a complicated solution? Yep. And that's what drives me in the morning. Is like we talked about the term "icky guy." What gets me up and what drives my engine? You know, Keith Ferrazzi talks about that blue flame. Like, what drives you in the morning? That that the hottest part of the flame. What drives your passion? You know, you're about trying to interview people, and I'm about trying to help on the biggest scale possible uh, at the at, at a reasonable price that people can deal with. Uh, some challenges so we can make this planet sustainable for our kids okay well i appreciate you taking the time today to be on synergy cafe so i'm going to sign this off and then what happens with this uh, video is i take it and i put it into uh, iMovie and put a little intro and an outro and put it onto youtube and then propagate out to the world and if you see it uh, somewhere online could you uh, hashtag comment share and and share it with the world so again thanks again for taking the time
Thank you.